I was going to make a video where uh, <clears throat> I find where the bullet landed on and read the scripture. I was hoping it would land like on, say, Quran 1094 that uh, tells Muslims by telling Muhammad, the, ex the, the exalted man, to go to those who have been reading the before scriptures, in other words, the Bible, if they're in doubt about the, quote, clear signs Quran, which makes no sense if the if uh, only the Quran is not corrupted and, and the Bible is corrupt, like Muslims say. I was also hoping that it would land on, say, Quran 568 that uh, tells me, oh, well, persons of the book, that they have no ground to stand upon unless you stand firm upon the Torah and Injil. And I was also thinking it'd be really cool if it uh, landed on uh, Quran 547 uh, that tells Christians to use the Injil, the Gospel, the New Testament, really, to judge their in of the, quote, uh, clear signs, yeah, the Quran. Uh, of course, I was expecting that it would probably land on a scripture like, uh, uh, there's, uh, don't associate partners with Allah, uh, you'll have a doomed hell or something like that. You know, it's something repetitive that you hear all the time. Like, uh, uh, I, I mean, I mean how, how many times does a Muslim hear that there's no God but Allah probably about to, you know, uh, I don't know how many times it's just, yeah, all as seems insecure that he has to let people know that. But anyway, um, I found one bullet in the Quran. This is the Quran I shot on the side of the road, uh, on the side of a road somewhere up in Oregon, a pretty much abandoned road used by uh, truckers. And um, scared my cousin a little bit. Because he wasn't expecting that, just for me to just get out and start shooting a book, uh, especially when it was so loud. Of course, when you hear it on video, it sounds like I'm shooting a pellet gun or or something that's even it sounds like a BB gun, and yet it does this kind of damage, you know. Uh, and anyway, the first bullet, this one, got stuck in there, but the second bullet went right through it apparently because I couldn't find it, and there was no place where to say, okay, it landed here because. The way it, it it tore through, you you don't know where it ends, right, you know. So, or where the ban the bullet lands. So it's kind of pointless. <clears throat> so anyway, since I can't uh, do what I was expecting, which was to make a video where I could read where it landed, I thought I would maybe use a knife and uh, stab it and see if it. Uh, makes any uh, uh see where it, where it lands here so yeah so anyway <laughs> i'm gonna close it and and i'll try to stab it and see where it goes here yeah all right here okay where oh you know see maybe just maybe i gotta open it up here open it up yeah these are all these notes that my dad took. My dad was studying the Quran. Uh, I was studying the Quran too, but since the, he, he didn't, he didn't know about the internet. I gave this to him, and and uh, he could study it that way. But really, it's it's easier to study. It's easier to study it on the internet because you can actually copy and paste it from wherever and put it into your writings and stuff. Uh, it saves you so much of time. It's it's pointless to read this thing, but you it, the, you can read this version of the Quran on the internet. I've discovered so. Yeah, go to uh, Islam Awaken. It's a, it's a Sunni Muslim website, and you should find it that way. Okay, here it goes. Here, right here. All right, see here. Try it again here. Re 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 re. Oh wait. Oh, in somewhere. Okay, it went somewhere. All right. Oh, where did it go? Where did it land? Oh, it's just a bunch of... Ah, forget it. It's just a... Ah, stupid. Stupid. It's just, it's, just, it's just a bunch of notes. Um, Muslim taqiyya, I guess you could say. So anyway. Ah. So, so much for that idea. Anyway. Um, I will probably shoot this thing again sometime and just to uh, shred it but I will be given reasons as to why in the video that I posted uh, to live leak I say uh, I say that is for Quran 9 111 and if you haven't looked up Quran 911 
It's uh, basically uh, telling Muslims to go forth killing and being killed in the cause of Allah. I also shot it again, said that's for Quran 929, which is basically a declaration of war on uh, anyone who's not Muslim. Quran 929 is uh, telling Muslims to fight, actually kill non-Muslims until they pay the jizya tax. It's an extortion tax. In other words, they, until they become a Muslim light, they submit, not totally, but enough to pay a high tax. Uh, so that's Quran 929. If I had uh, ear protection, I didn't want to ruin my ears right now. They're still ringing from that time. Of course, they've been ringing ever since I was a kid when I used to fire a gun. So, yeah, but this it didn't help it just for those two times I shot it. But if I had wax in my ears like this stuff here, I would have uh, emptied it. Probably reloaded it and shot it again uh, about 12 times, you know. I would have, I'd, as I would have said, uh, that's for Quran 9, 100, uh, Quran 9, 38 to 39, which threaten Muslims with a painful doom if they don't go forth killing being killed the cause of Allah. I would have shot it again say that's for Quran 424, which is basically allows Muslims to have sex with someone's wife if she's the the, the, the slave of the Muslim. It says forbidden to your married women. You can't have sex with married women, except, that's a key word where you can, except those whom your right hand possess. I would have shot it again and said that's Quran 434, which allows you to beat your wife if you just fear rebellion from them. I would have shot it again and said that's for Quran 9, 1 through 5, which uh, tells Muslims to rise up and slay after sacred months. And the only thing that keeps them from killing is when they, the people they're fighting become Muslims. In other words, I would have brought things up like that. So, but uh, hey, some other time, okay? But 